So yeah, um, and it just happened right now. So we're stuck in the motorway, waiting to come, wait, 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 I don't even know what to say. Uh, all of a sudden, that car just, they crashed the barriers. So that's, so that's really happens, because that is really happens right there, what uh, was happening. So I don't know what just happened, but, so a little bit stuck for wait about 30 minutes straight and then um, half hour, uh, maybe half hour or something like that. Don't wait for it, I don't know, half hour will be uh, Yeah. So possibly it will be a. Uh, yeah. Half hour is going to be like. Yeah. Uh, All sorted before the 31st of January. For available tax products, visit quickbooks.co.uk. <laughs> Here's some real news for plumbers and heating engineers UK wide. Graham, the plumbers merchant, has a great way to give your business a head start. It's the launch of a massive £10 million warehouse clearance sale. That's over £10 million worth of everything you need to help your business start 2021 with a bang. Okay. Um, hey guys, welcome back. We're back again. It's Saturday, the 13th of um, January. It's the last month today. Tomorrow will be the last day of January. Yeah, Jerry's gone quick. Mm. I don't know why that changed the changed us to the bed, isn't it? I don't know why my dad's bed's changed. So, so that'll be uh, is. Don't mind him. Don't mind us for the dark. Dogs barking there in the background. So they had a traffic. They had an accident. We had an accident somewhere. Okay, so um, yeah, this week was not bad. Not bad at all. Just same as it used to be. And somehow the things gonna get like that. Deaths, COVID deaths this week. Um, and Stevie Bear, I heard a new you heard the news of Stevie Bear who does some T V reality star. Reality T V star and also now he's a YouTube star too. He's arrested. What he back from the flight or back from this whole day abroad during the pandemic for probably this week, this month. He was arrested. I have no clue what's been going on. I don't know watch that yet. Um if you imagine it's on YouTube, did he stalk him? Like, he feels like he was haunted. Unfortunately, that happens. If you watch your own Stephen Bears' YouTube channel, you probably know that. And also, he lost, he lost his Instagram account as well. Stevie, Stephen Bear. It feels like mad. I tell you what, it's, it's mad. I tell you, it's mad. To see what Stevie Bears looks like, it's like rough. I feel so bad for Stevie Bear or Stephen Bear. You feel that was good as well. He's a good lad. He's a good, good lad though. Who someone would want, someone somehow who somehow who lived in like in North East London, but somehow he lived in Essex. He lived in Essex. Stephen Bear lived in Essex. Is it? Who lived in? Essex nearby, so so that's why I saw on the Daily Mail that somehow that Stephen Bear, what's been going on with Stephen Bear, that he's been acting around, and it, it, this ain't acting. The deck's not acting normal. So so this this happened. He was not acting normal. I don't know what's been going on. He was been after he'd been arrested for a revenge. He was a red, uh, revenge. Um, so that is really what's been going on. He, it was, it was really tough for Stephen Bear, and he didn't know what's been going on. 
I hope he's. I hope if he, I hope he's gonna be. I hope if he's gonna be okay with it. Well, uh, you know what's been going on. I felt so bad for Stephen Stephen Bear. He's a good. He's a good reality TV star. He, he's a good reality TV star. He was a good YouTuber. He's a good like social media too. Man, Stephen Bear. Wow. And also, I don't imagine that he would have lived. Somehow he lived in Leighton. Some um Leighton somehow probably live. Probably somehow we lived in, I don't know, Wolfenstow or Leighton, Stephen Bear is. But some, somehow he lived, some, somehow he lived in Essex. Um, oh my god, jeez. I can't believe that happened, man. Like, I can't believe it just happened. So, my god, Stephen Bear. So, probably we added to it. See what's going on. That was so unfortunate to see what's been going on all of a sudden because somehow it is. So, I'm going to end this one right here. Hope you guys didn't enjoy this one. Tomorrow, today, tomorrow will be the last day of January. I have no clue, but man, tomorrow will be the day. But tomorrow will be the day. Because somehow today, today is the last tomorrow, we're the last day will be on Sunday, and we move on to February because we're getting a bit prepared for the COVID vaccines, and uh, somehow in the, EU, in the EU as well, somehow happening in the Irish borders. So we'll get things sorted out with the Irish borders. Will be a good news for the vaccine, especially as well. I was watching like a like. A Q and A, or someone like that, called European Commission, on Instagram story, on Instagram live, they're talking about COVID vaccines that the EU is gonna get, gonna have. That'll be the good news for that. Probably it's good news, but it's very important. But it's good news for people who protect yourselves if you're staying home and let those things away. So that would be a good one. So. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it guys, take care, have a good day, and um, I can't believe it, I can't believe, I can't believe that January is going quick, like, I can't believe it's going quick, especially how schools, colleges will be opening, will be reopening on the 8th of March, after next month, so, this probably will be like that as well, so, the hair, the barber's not going to be open until June, so I probably will be staying the same like this, Somehow, but it's okay with it. I could brush my hair, but it's long. But I could brush my hair. I could use this all day. So, so I hope you guys enjoy, it, guys. Take care. Have a good day. Have a good weekend. If you're left alone in the weekend because of the pandemic, uh, have a good one. So, man, um, I hope you guys enjoy, it, guys. Take care. Have a good day. And. See you have a nice weekend. Goodbye.